Uh, we started our stretch really well. Um, Northwood was a huge win for us. Uh, being in that arena, being in that building, having the seniors have an opportunity to win on that floor um, and leave a good memory. I thought we set the tone right away, which was important for us to do. And um, we had really focused on their who we thought were their big three, who were their major scorers. And um, I thought we took them out of the game early. And that's that was our that was our goal going in. Um, huge win Thursday going into Saturday. I still thought we took care of business. Um, Lake State is a hard place to play, and you know for us to be able to get it done is is exactly is exactly what we need to do. Um, and you're going into you know you know you have the stretch. Um, Northern Michigan, uh, you know it was it played like a rival game. It was. The entire second half was basket for basket, and unfortunately, at the end, we couldn't get the stop that we needed. Um, we had an opportunity to to score, um, to tie it, to put it into overtime, and and missed a layup. But um, ultimately, it was not our offense that put us in that position; it was our defense. Um, obviously, Monday hurts, uh, but you got to get over it. And we have two games left, and they are the two biggest games of the season because they're the two that are right in front of us. So um, there is no time to sulk. There is no time to feel sorry for ourselves. We have to respond. We have to answer. We have to play the way that we're capable of. And we have to, have to, have to protect our home floor. This is an amazing weekend. Um, you know, as, as frustrating as yesterday was, it's still fun to be around uh, a, a weekend of carnival. You know, and, and I mean, it's a festival. It is celebrated. Everywhere you go, people are happy, people are excited, people are excited for Michigan Tech Athletics overall. Um, they're excited to be back in Houghton. I was actually hoping for a little bit more snow, and we got it, and now it can be done, but I think it, like, it looks beautiful up here. Um, and then, you know, it's just, it's great for the town, it's great for the city, it's great for athletics. There's tons of people around, um, and it's, it's positive. It's a positive environment for our, our kids to be in. We are, we are prepared to, um, finish out the last segment of our season. Uh, the second round is starting over again and you know every every coin is different on both sides and I mean that in the sense that they're they're thinking this is what we have to do to win. Everybody's had a chance to feel out what's working for people, what's not working for people. They want to beat us because they lost before. We want to beat them because we did it already. You know everybody has motivation and you're in the last seven games of the season and there are a lot of implications. Things are starting to feel like seven games isn't very many um, and it's going to be pressing and people are going to push and um, when your backs are against the wall you have to make sure that you're ready to fight back and uh, that'll be what I think our, our players will do um, and really us being at home for I think it's five of the last seven um, for us to protect our floor is going to be something that's really important no matter who we play.